Hey guys, it's me, Julie, back with another purse video. I think it's number eight. I think, I think. Do you see this lovely ring I have on? You guys will not even believe the story with this ring. Maybe you guys remember it. I showed it on my channel, and as soon as I showed it and put a price on it, I was like, oh man, I should have kept that. I love it. Look at it. Isn't it so pretty? Anyway, the person who bought it just sent it back to me as a present. Can you even believe that? You guys are so sweet. <laughs> Seriously, you've bought, brought lots of joy and happiness to my life, and I really, really appreciate all of you. So anyway, thank you so much. You know who you are. I absolutely love it. I squealed and gasped when I opened the box. <laughs> it was like Christmas back when I was a kid. Thank you. All right. You guys, it's a purse sale. If you would like to purchase anything, you can pause the video here and it'll tell you exactly what to do. Did you see it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so today is a little bit different of a purse sale, you guys. We are doing everything is $15 and under. So we're doing things that um, maybe aren't as expensive of brands. Maybe it's not branded. Um, maybe there's a flaw. We're doing that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, and I think definitely these bags kind of round out your collection for sure. Like, um, it's nice if you have like one outfit that's a certain color and maybe you want a bag that goes with it and you don't want to spend a ton of money because you're going to wear it like, you know, just with that outfit. So this is the perfect way to do that. I'm going to show you one from my collection that I got super recently. It's a Brassiano. I showed a Brassiano in the last video. Um, so it is branded, um, but it's a, it's a less expensive brand and I'm absolutely in love with this. In fact, Julie Overboard Brown, yep, that's me, Overboard Brown, uh, bought it in three colors. Yep, because one's not good enough. Uh, Why well, have one when you can have three, right? <laughs> Seems to always be my motto. Okay, isn't it so cute? So yeah, it's a less expensive bag. I think I actually did pay $15 for this um, plus shipping. So there you go, you know, round out your collection. I'm not gonna wear this every day, but I'm gonna wear it and love it. So anyway, I'm off my uh, preaching there. Let's begin, okay? So we're gonna go through these a little bit more quickly. I don't know how much stuffing I'm gonna do, and I'm also gonna use my jewelry tag numbers, okay? So we have this baby. This one's gonna be number 130. Um, it is red, it is faux leather, it's a croc print. A faux croc. This one's in very nice shape, you guys. Um, I'm just gonna show it quickly. And you can kind of see, it's just gonna be a quicker show today so we can get through a whole bunch. Um, the inside's very nice. Whoever had this before stuffed it. It is named, uh, it is a brand, Bisu Bisu, I believe is how you say that. Um, I will leave this one stuffed. Isn't it so cute? Cute little bag. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you something, guys. So everything's $15 or less. If you buy two $15 items, they drop to $13 each. If you buy three or more, they drop to $12 each, okay? Only counting on the $15, $15 items, okay? The less expensive ones don't count in that. Okay, here we go. $15. It's a nice one. You want it, I uh, promise. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, this one's so cute, you guys. Here we go. It's a little mini, a little mini satchel. It's in like um an off-white color and it has the super trendy guitar strap, type strap. It's awesome. Um, I It's brand new, nobody's used it, but there might be slight discoloration on the white strap. Nothing crazy. There you go. She's in great, great shape like new shapes still has her little uh plastic thing that would hold the tag there she is super super cute this one i believe is unbranded um no i think this company is called blush kiss blush kiss okay super super sweet though i love it i i am in love with good guitar straps there's a spot right there um, I don't know about you guys. I just love them. Okay, here we go. 
This one is going to be $15. Okay, next. Oh, we're moving, guys. I like it. Okay, this one is by Pouchies or Pouchy. Okay, this one's not an as great of shape, but it's not bad. You can see some stuff here. That's probably glue residue coming out. It's cool. It has these um, uh, flattened studs. This cool silver tone hardware. Okay, snap closure. It's got some threads here. You could probably hit those with the, um, I don't know if I'd do a lighter right there, but <laughs> you could probably, it would be dangerous for me. It would be bad. Um, yeah, you could probably get them with some scissors. Okay, and there's one pouch, two pouches, three pouches. Um, and then it opens up into a nice wallet. It's kind of like a wallet on a string, you guys. It's super cute. Super, super cute. Um, would be nice for junkin. It's adjustable and the strap's nice. So there you go. This one is going to be $15. $15. <laughs> How many times are I going to say that today? I bet about 50 at least. Okay, you guys, we have a Vera Bradley backpack. It's one of the ones that you put over one shoulder. So I think it's actually called a sling, I believe you call this. So um, it's it's a nice shape. Here you go. Uh, the This unzips here, and you can add things here. It's in great shape in there. Um, you have a front zip here. Doo -doo. I don't know what that noise is for. <laughs> a water bottle pocket. A spot to clip some keys or is that so you can trade oh it is you guys so you can take your um, sling strap and you can put it on this side or you can put it on this side and it is adjustable um, I would say that there is slight discoloration on this strap okay you can see the difference there that's probably the um, worst thing about this bag and it's not that bad and look at the interior, it's beautiful. You have a pocket here, you have some mesh slips here. Super nice, I love the orange. Eek, so good. Okay, you guys, so the Vera Bradley Sling, you guessed it, $15. Let's put the tag in here so I remember what number. Okay, there we go, put that under there. Okay, this bag I bought for myself as a project bag. Okay, I thought I was going to have time to mess around with this bag. I did not. It's not in that bad of shape, but I'm going to show you what's wrong with it and what, um, you know, I was going to do. So, first of all, you have some scratching on the turn lock. Not really a huge deal, but it's there. Um, the leather, I believe this is real leather, um, is okay on the bottoms. Uh, maybe a tiny break in the wicker there, but other than that, the wicker's in really nice shape, which is why I was going to take it and do something with it. Um, maybe one little spot right there. Okay, here's one issue with it. Um, how am I going to show you this? Okay, here we go. Here are the handles. They have this nice decorative stitching, which is slightly discolored, and this one is popped out. I was going to shove that back in the hole if I could. Maybe a little glue, that was my plan. I did not do it, obviously. Um, and then when you open it, here's where the problems are. It needs to be reattached. It obviously was attached with glue at one point, so I was going to attack it, attack it with that same attachment method, but I did not have time. Okay, so it's a nice shape in here. Um, yeah, there she is. Uh, so she's a little project bag, but she's awesome. So take advantage of me not having the time to do it because it's really cute. $15. I'm going to put that number inside. Guys, this is nice to not have to stop. Oh, boy. I might actually get through this. It takes me about four hours. This bag makes me sad, I got to say, guys. I wanted this bag so bad. Um, it's a Kate Spade. Uh, I wanted it in my collection. I was having a hard time finding it for anything that I wanted to pay. It was expensive. It's a vintage Kate Spade. Um, I'm a sucker for Kiss Lock. I've told you that. So I found this on Poshmark. And I don't know if you've run into this on Poshmark. I've definitely seen it more on Posh than on eBay. 
that sometimes the sellers like disappear. There's like no seller there anymore, but it's still up. So anyway, I think that was kind of what went on here. When they finally did ship it, I should show you while I'm looking at it. This is black leather. When they finally did ship it, they threw it in a, um, not even a padded mailer. She threw it in a, um, ah, what is it called guys? Like the plastic wrap, uh, whatever. You know, there's just the plastic wrap. It's like like a plastic bag you ship in. I can't think of what it's called. That's what it came in, okay? So this happened. Um, it snapped, you know? That's what you'd expect. <laughs> it broke. So there's a crack here that I tried to gr glue, and there's a crack here, okay? So it is put back together, um, but I'm going to let it go because every time I look at it, it annoys me. Um, this strap does have an issue right here with edge coat. Um, the edge coat itself isn't off, just the top layer of the black is. So, hold on. Oh, sorry, Hub sent me a text. Okay, so yeah, um, just needed a little bit of the black on the edge coat. Okay. So I am going to let this one go for 15. It's not terrible. It's in working order, but it's there and it drives me nuts. Okay, $15 on that one, you guys. Nice vintage. Oh, I forgot to show you the interior. There is some staining on the interior. There you go. Vintage Kate Spade, 15. She's a cutie. The strap actually is a little bit too long for me too as I, after I got it, so it's okay. All right, we've got this one. This one is new without tag. It is a faux leather. You know, guys, that white bag was faux leather and the pouchy was leather. Sorry about that. Jeepers, Julie. Do your job, please. All right, this still has the original manufacturer's packing. Um, it is unbranded. It is super cute. You could carry this um, with or without this little gold chain, okay? Um, it's just cute. So this would be perfect if you had an outfit like this color, right? This is one of those bags I'm talking about. Okay, so this one, eek, it opens fine. It's just me and the camera. All right, this one is going to be $15. I'm gonna take two seconds to pack this back up so it doesn't get crushed. What do I always say? Stuff your bags, guys. Stuff your bags. Oh, I wanted to put my jewelry. Oh, I was supposed to bring that diamond up to show you. Dad found a diamond in a bag, if you guys didn't hear. Okay, this is Nanette Lepore. Okay, I believe that's how you say it. It can either be a wristlet or a little teeny bag if you move this um, chain over. Okay, you can move the chain over to here. Oh, you're not even seeing what I'm doing. Yikes, Julie. Fire me, guys. Just kidding. Okay, here we go. Or can I have like a little strap? Is that not the cutest little pouch? I love the rainbow. It is um, uh, faux leather, has a zip pocket here. It is new, you guys, just without tags. Isn't that so cute? So cute. Okay, that one's going to be, guess what? $15, $15. I bought a lot, a grouping, a lot of um, brand new, um, eek, brand new uh, bags, like I'm showing you, a lot of these faux leather brand new bags. So this one also is new, it is faux leather. It is a little uh, mini satchel in like a lavender color. It has this awesome chain. It's actually plastic, but look at the links. The links are like heart shaped. How cute is that, right? <laughs> it's quilted, which is super in, right? Uh, here's the interior. Let me just get that out. Here's the interior. Uh, this one is Like Dreams, L-I-K-E-D-R-E-A-M-S, Like Dreams. Super cute, strap is nice. Um, there she is. $15, you guys. Okay, let's put that one over there. How many have we done? I don't even know how many are here. 
Okay, this one is such a fun color. I have a bag this color. I have my one green bag and I absolutely love it. I wanted to pull it out and show you guys because it's a, not a brand, uh, it's unbranded. Um, but I actually can't get in my purse closet right now because of all the purses I want to show you. So it's okay. All right, this is new with tag. I love this tag strap. Isn't that so cool? I like want it. Um, this is also like dreams. There it is. Same brand. It's faux leather. It is quilted gold tone hardware. Um, here it opens. Ugh, I'm trying to get it so I can show you guys. There we go. Nice green interior with a zip pocket. And I believe the zipper works. It should. Yep. It has a turn lock, this awesome gold tassel. Um, the strap is chain. This part is metal, by the way. And then goes into this. Now, I've got to say, now forget it. I don't know what I was talking about. Okay. Uh, this is uh, um, also $15. Awesome. I lost my train of thought there. Could you guys tell? <laughs> oh, yeah. So we're not going to open up a thread up box or something like that. A mystery box today. Um, okay. This bag. Uh, this bag drives me bananas, too. <laughs> I bought this bag from Kristen D, but it was a rehab bag. I knew it was. She sold it as such. I knew it was. Um... Okay, it is this amazing coral color with like a sheen, a glitter sheen, okay? It's gold tone. It had some issues. It has some transfer, some transfer, um, some transfer, and then um, some marks. And then Julie tried to paint it and fix it. Yeah, and Julie tried to paint it. And Julie tried to paint it. Oh, yeah. This is leather, you guys. So... Obviously, my paint color didn't match very well, first of all. And second of all, I was having a hard time replicating the sheen. I, I couldn't figure out how to do it. So if somebody wants to take this on, it's an awesome bag. The leather is so nice. It's a vintage Kate Spade. Um, it's a project bag, okay? It's a rehab bag for sure. Uh, there's the interior. The interior is great. It stinks that the outside looks like this. And if you buy this and fix it, tell me what you did because it drove me nuts. <laughs> All right, you guys, there you go. Vintage Kate Spade that just needs a little bit of help, unless you don't care. I mean, you could wear this, but I tried to paint right there too. You can see it. Okay, there she is. 15. <laughs> 15. She'd probably be like a 60, 60 or so dollar bag. I don't know, 60 or 70 if she didn't have boo-boos. Okay, this one, I think this is from... No, this is one I just got. Okay, this is Evan Pacone. It is this nice gold color. It's not even super metallic-y. It's kind of a, like an understated gold tone. It's a little wobbly right here. I don't know why, but anyway. Somebody was carrying rocks. <laughs> this was their rock collection bag, you guys. <laughs> All right, it's woven. It is faux leather, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's vegan leather, is it? simulated leather. Yep. Simulated leather. Okay. It's Evan Pacone. Uh, this pocket has a stain right here. Do you see it? Um, there's a zipper here. There's this center that snaps. That's a little hidey hole right there. And then it's stained right there too. Okay. Has these awesome tassels on the zippers. Uh, a little stain right there. I'm wondering if this, because it's all where glue would be, I'm wondering if that's glue residue from the bag making process. Um, everything else, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Pocket, little pen mark in there. Straps nice. Adjustable. We have the little Evan Pacone tag. I believe that's how you say that. I guess it could be Pacone. I don't know. There you go, guys. $15. $15. Okay, put that one down. Next. Look at this one, you guys. Picture summertime. Picture the beach. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. It's a raffia. I believe you would call it woven bag, and it's awesome. It is black and cream color, has this awesome tassel, um, which you could train a little bit better. We've talked about that before. Maybe um, 
put something around it to make it stay. Uh, there you go. This one's in great shape. All of the um, raffia is intact. The handles are nice. The inside is perfect. It has this drawstring to keep everything safe in there. Slip pocket, it's perfect, perfect. I'm sure you can't even see that. <laughs> so the drawstring kind of tucks in so you can't see it. There you go, super cute. Think about the summer. It's gonna come again, guys, it really is. It's around the corner, <laughs> $15. I've been feeling like that lately. We have um, rain and wind today, which I mean, it could be snow, so we should be grateful. Um, and then we're getting a big storm on Tuesday. Um, yeah, Tuesday. Okay, this guest bag. Here she goes. So it's like a cream um, polyurethane and it's pleather, um, vegan leather trim, okay? It's kind of in the style of the LV Neverfull. I think that's what they were looking to do here. So there are the sides. Um, here is the bottom and the sides. I'm hiding what's bad. <laughs> Not hiding, I'm saving it. Dun -dun. Here's what's bad on this one, transfer. Yeah, it stinks. This happened in storage, in my bag storage, and it's really aggravating. <laughs> so there it is. Uh, up to you if you want to deal with it or not, of not, or not, of course. Um, this one is stuffed. Let me pull the stuffing out. Uh, there we go. It's in good shape in there. Isn't that a pretty print? I like it. Bows and roses. Guns and roses. <laughs> There's some glue residue on that. People, stop using glue that yellows, right? Right. Uh, a little bit of wear on that. All right, there it is. $15, you guys. $15. Let me zip it up. Okay, I don't know if I can reach bags anymore. Let's see. Um, yeah, I still can. Okay. We have this one. It is Rosetti. There we go. Rosetti and this brown taupey color. In garage doors, we would call this a bronze. This is bronze, you guys. <laughs> Zip pocket here with a little ring on it. Open the flap here. Most of these bags, guys, um, I bought lots of bags, like groupings of bags, and these were kind of not the ones I was totally going for in the lot. You know, I wanted the Coach and the Kate Spade. So these were kind of like the leftovers, but they're still awesome bags. Uh, Rosetti, there you go. Everything's nice on this. It is um, faux leather. And we have an adjustable strap. All nice. There you go, guys. There you go. $15. Okay, let's put that in there. Close that. I would say we're about a third of the way through or so, people. How are we doing on time? 23 minutes. Okay, that's okay. All right, I have a Liz Claiborne for you. Let me put the camera up. Close your eyes if you don't like it, you guys. Apologies. All right, it is a faux leather, kind of an animal print, but not really. It's not an animal print um, with brown trim, Liz Claiborne. Here's the bottom. Perfect. Sides are perfect. Back. Perfect, perfect. Um, nice little shoulder strap, there's two of them. Okay, and then when you get in there, there's three pockets. Oh, a little linty in there, sorry about that. And then this one, also a magnet closure, I'm sorry, snap closure. And then the center opens all the way up. Huge center, okay. All right, on the Liz Claiborne. I was obsessed with Liz Claiborne when I was younger, you guys. I had so many Liz Claiborne clothes. <laughs> I worked at um, Marshall's and I used to like buy everything. <laughs> uh, $15, it was a bad place to work when you're teens and 20s. <laughs> I didn't have a check a lot of time. Okay, ready? Tommy Hilfiger, isn't this so cute? A little canvas tote. I think it's so cute. I love the print. 
Don't you love Tommy Hilfiger um, plaids? They're so nice. Um, this one is in excellent condition, you guys. Okay, two little pockets on the side. Here are the handles. Super nice. I love the stripe on the handle, on the webbing. Uh, pockets, 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 pockets galore. Okay, super cute. <laughs> so cute. Here's the interior. It's also perfect. So cute. All right, let me see if I can get to stand up. The bottom has a little bit of discoloration. Nothing crazy. It's a little darkened right there. Let's see if you can stand up, sir. You're so cute, ma'am. Sir, ma'am. <laughs> All right, there you go. So sweet, you guys. $15. All righty. Dun -dun. All right, I have some wallets. They're going to go for a little less. Let's do some wallets. How's that? Look at this one, you guys. I totally thought this would be Betsy Johnson. Doesn't it look like it? It is faux leather, gold tone hardware. It is so cute. It's a long women, woman's wallet. It looks to be in like new condition. Doesn't it seem like Betsy? You know, I didn't do a reverse image search, but it is not branded anywhere. So I don't know. Maybe it is. There you go. Here's the back pocket. Super, super sweet. This one's in great shape. This one's only $10, $10, okay? Let's put the tag inside. This wallet is very special. This is the wallet that had the $20 bill in it. <laughs> um, Guys, this is a trademark of somebody and I can't think of it. Is it Dockers? I don't know. I couldn't figure this out. Somebody know, tell me. Um, I believe this one is leather. It's red. Um, this one is a little bit more worn in. Somebody loved it. It's a smaller uh, ladies wallet. It opens in a tri-fold. There's that logo again. <laughs> the $20 bill was right here, you guys. Mm -hmm. Lots of card spaces. Awesome. Lots of little pockets everywhere. Uh, you have a spot for cash. Uh, this, does this come out? No. Uh, your ID right there, and then like a little zip pocket here. Oh yeah, it is leather, genuine leather right there. This is a nice little one, you guys. It's nice. I'm only gonna do $7, okay? $7 on that one. And then, let's see, one more. We have a Sonoma, which I believe is Walmart, right? Sonoma, is Sonoma Walmart? I don't know, I don't know. Here it is, this one isn't as in great of shape, but here we go. It's not horrible, just, you know, it's not even in bad shape. It just isn't filled out. It needs stuff in it. Okay, there it is. It's a brown faux leather. It looks like croc. This opens here. And all your stuff, your pockets, credit cards, pockets, 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 <laughs> checkbook. Um, and then you have the zip pocket. Lots of stuff in there. You can put your bathing suit in there. It's like waterproof. <laughs> Borat could put his bathing suit in there. It would fit. <laughs> I've never even seen that movie. Um, okay, here we go. Zips close. And then you have this. Oh, no. Guys, there's no zipper on this. Okay, so this is just going to be a dollar. If anybody's interested, tell me Sonoma. There's no zipper pull on this. <laughs> All right, I should have left it close. Okay, dollar. Um, and that just covers eBay, uh, PayPal fees, basically. Okay, another Liz Claiborne. This is super cute. It is gold. It feels really close to leather, you guys, but I don't think it is. Let's see. Let's check. Um, poly vinyl. Okay, so it's a vegan leather. It feels like leather. It's super cute. Let's, um... Go up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Here we go. It is a shoulder bag with a braided handle. The front is pretty nice. It's got some marks from storage, like it, something was pressed into it. Bottom is super nice. Corners are nice. Oop, I just found something on it that I didn't see before. Okay, here's the back. There's a pocket. Okay, 
I just found this. It's starting to peel right there. Eek. Eek, eek, eek. I don't like that. Okay, um, and this side. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this bag. Sorry, guys, I didn't see that. If anybody's interested in it for something, just let me know. I'm not gonna sell that one, it's peeling. I don't like peeling. There's nothing you can do for peeling, I don't think. Okay, we have a red crossbody, Jessica Simpson. I believe this is also vegan leather. Let's see what she tells us. Tell us, girl. Back in the day, I thought it could be a Jessica Simpson stalker. I don't know why, you guys. The Newlyweds show. I really enjoyed it. I thought I could stalk her. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not making fun of stalking. It's serious, but I was, like, obsessed. I thought she was so cool. All right, here we go. Here's the front. Little crossbody. It is faux leather. Cute little tassels. This one has a little mark on it. Um, you can open this section here. It has a little quilting to it. You can put your credit cards, your ID. There she is, adjustable strap. Okay, and then this center here, beautiful. It's like a leopard print in there. It's not leopard. I can never tell if it's leopard or cheetah. I don't know, leopard, right? <laughs> it's very cute, very nice bag. Um, this one is $15 super sweet okay if you don't have a red bag you need a red bag it's like my law in life okay everybody needs a red bag okay let me pull this closer dun -dun! nine west okay this bag is cute i love this it almost has like a little shimmer to it it's a woven fabric um, this is in great shape. It's faux leather with this little strap. This is perfect for like going out, right? I think so cute. Maybe a teeny little pull in the fabric right there. You could just clip it off. It wouldn't even do anything to it. Um, oh, some dog glitter. Oh, lucky us. <laughs> Here you go. Isn't it so cute? All right. The person that had it stuffed it. Good job. Let's get the stuffings out. And there she is. Beautiful. In great condition. Let me um, put that back in there. Zip it up. There you go. All right. This one is, you guessed it, $15 at $150, $150. Oh, I like it. Of course, I picked $15, which is hard for me to say with my night guard. <laughs> My full-time guard, I should call it, not a night guard. Okay, this was in my collection a while ago. I haven't carried it in a long time, and it was in my collection for a long time. It is faux leather. It's a baguette style, okay? It is red to look like smooth leather. Um, the handles are nice. Here they are. I believe this one's unbranded. Let's check. Um, it has a snap pouch. I will restuff this. Yeah, unbranded. So that's the interior. It's a little gross right there. I did buy it used, by the way. Um, there are the pockets. Has a zip pocket here. And then these ends are super cool. They have little pockets in the ends, which I should have stuffed too, but it looks like I didn't. Oh, and they have a little, um, I had forgotten about that. A little, uh, yeah, elastic slip in there too. And there's one on the other end love it. Have you seen the, um, what's her name? Bonnie Cashin. Is it Bonnie? Cashin for sure. The bags for, um, <laughs> for coach, right? The two ends open with the kiss locks. They're amazing. Oh my gosh. I want one, but they're expensive. They're vintage. Okay. There you go. Here she is. Cutie patootie little baguette. $15. Okay. Let's restuff this one after. I'll set that to the side so she can get her stuffing back. She can get her stuff back. Okay. We have a B. Mikowski. Okay. It is purple pebble leather. Um, 
liking it. You know, now if a B. Bukowski is $15, there's obviously some issues, right? So we have some little discoloration here. We have scratching on the silver tone hardware. Um, there's a little spot that B. Bukowski always does. Uh, there's discoloration there. Okay, so um, overall it's not a horrible bag, just has some discoloration. Um, it looks like somebody tried to color it, actually. <laughs> That was not me. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at I never even saw that before. Oh my gosh, Julie. And then the handles are very light compared to the bag. Let me show you. Okay, so B. Minkowski that needs some help. Honestly, what somebody should do to this is do an all-over rehab and paint the whole bag. Either purple or a different color. It would be exactly what it needs. It's a very cool bag, though. Um... I love the hardware on it. Isn't that cool? Okay. So the B. Mikowski, there is a rehab bag. $15. If somebody doesn't take it on, I might stick it in my rehab pile. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. And maybe I'll fix that wicker one if nobody buys it. Okay. Mama carried this bag, you guys, and it drove her nuts. Listen. Okay, you hear it. <laughs> I'm not going to not tell you it's there. Um, it is brown, pebbled, faux leather. It's still in great shape, but she chitter-chatters. Okay, she chitter-chatters. She probably just needs some oil. I don't know. <laughs> um, is she unbranded? I think so. Oh, no. Um, Antonio Milani. I don't know who that is. Is this faux leather? It feels like it. No, it's leather, you guys. I apologize. It's leather. Very nice. All right, there it is. Um, because she chitters, <laughs> chitter chatters, $15. It's a cute little bag, though. Um, Mom couldn't figure out what it was. She was carrying it in the store. It was driving her bananas. And then she realized it was her bag. <laughs> All right, you guys. We have a little Kate Spade crossbody. This guy's seen better days, you guys. Seen better days. See the hardware there? Um, I think this came out of a thread up box. I love the colors. Look, it's pink, flirt, neon pink, and neon orange. Oh, so good. The interior's got some yuck. Okay. Overall, she's just seen better days, right? She's seen better days. So let's tuck that bit in. Yeah, it definitely was in the thread up box, I'm pretty sure. Um, the corners aren't awesome. Okay, she's just seen better days. She's a little tired, but she could definitely has life left. I bet you could do something with it, right? Uh, $15. All right. Do you guys think by selling these bags that need help that I'm like making my channel not look great? Like I don't have good bags? I don't think so. Cause I mean, what's gonna happen to these? I'm telling you the issues, right? And what's gonna happen if we don't look at them? They're just gonna go, I don't know, to a landfill or donate. I don't know. We have this uh, brass studded bag. I love this. It's a little pouch, like a little wristlet with a studded handle. This definitely is faux leather. Um, it snaps closed. It's just me on camera, you guys. It opens fine. <laughs> um, it does have a strap that you can attach here and here. Or use the wristlet or use them together. There's the interior. This is under one sky. Okay. I'm going to put the handle back in there. It's um, an adjustable handle. Um, excuse me, strap. Uh, there it is. I think this is so cute. If I would use this, I would keep it. But I always have to say, do I have something that looks like this that I like it better that I would reach for? And the answer is yes, so I can't keep it. All right, this one's going to be $15. And why did I do it up? I've got to put the number in there. Okay, there we go. That one can go down there. And here we go. This one is new without tag, you guys. Look how cute it is. It's a little satchel, like a peachy color. Look at the little heart. Bull tone hardware. Um, it hasn't been used, but it does have a couple marks. Okay, here's a mark. Um, that's not even a mark. There you go. 
It's in pretty great shape though. Besides, is this a pocket? Nope. All right. You have an adjustable strap here and then it opens here. Why is that hard to open? Is it me or is it it? Okay, I think the snap is not a magnetic snap, so it's a little bit harder. It's a real snap, okay? Um, it is stuffed. That's factory stuffing, it looks like. Yeah, it still has its um, silica pack there, guys. It's Olivia and Kate, New York. There's the interior. I love the polka dots. So cute. All right, this one is going to be, guess how much, you guys? I bet you know. <laughs> $15. $15. All right, let me put that in there. Let's see about this snap. So it's a real snap. So once your things are in, it's not terrible, but it's a little bit harder than a magnet. Okay, I just want you to see that. $15 on that one. Um, okay, we have a, a Vera, I believe it's Vera. Is it? Yeah, Vera Bradley wallet. Here you go. There you go. It is this awesome fuchsia color zipper. Look at that. That is so pretty, huh? I like it. Here's the interior. This is in like new condition, you guys. I don't even know if anybody used it. It doesn't look like it. There you go. Isn't that pretty? All right, this one's gonna be $10, you guys. $10 on this one. Put that in here. Okay, we have a Coach Poppy little wristlet pouch. Um, so this is like gold tone and it is wearing a little bit like all the metallics do. Um, they just do. Look, Coach Poppy, there's a Coach tag. There's a Coach Poppy. Isn't it cute though? Got some wearing on the leather, on the faux leather there. Okay, here it is. There's a little pocket. And then you have the wristlet strap. What in the heck? You guys, I can't undo it. What is going on? Okay, that one's gonna get put to the side. I don't understand why it's not opening. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's do this one. Jessica Simpson, I believe, was it? Yeah, Jessica Simpson and this awesome mustard color. Isn't it awesome? So it's a shoulder bag or it has the straps. You can wear it as a long shoulder bag, possibly a crossbody. It adjusts, it is faux leather. It is in excellent condition. Unzips here, um, has a little pocket. This is your candy bar pocket, guys. This is where you store your candies. <laughs> it's, isn't it fun that it's like facing downward? Like how fun, what a cool idea, right? I think there's your sides. There's your back, we have another zip pocket. There's your bottom. And the sun zips here. There you go. Oh look, still has its Jessica Simpson tag. Oh, that's a nice tag, look what she does there. Ooh, girl, nice. See, look, she's beautiful. Your life is the story you tell the world, jessicasimpson.com. Very nice. There, oh, goodness gracious, I'm so sorry, you guys. And there's the interior in great condition. Alrighty, this one is, you guessed it, just $15. I love that color. Such a cool color, isn't it? One of my bathrooms is almost that color. It's a little bit more brown than that. Um, okay, here we go. We have this uh, woven like um, straw almost bag with orange faux leather accents, okay? We have the um, like drawstring, probably more of a decoration there. And then we have pockets here on the front. Okay, they are individual so you can store, it doesn't go all the way through. Um, here are your straps. It's a shoulder bag. Okay, here's the back. There you go. Here's the interior. And you have a zip pocket there and you have this. This is by Apartment nine apartment nine okay isn't it cute so cute i think this bag is so cute i have one i had one similar it's actually in the cell pile too it's the same it's like um woven like i don't know whatever this is straw or whatever um with orange accents by charles david i think so that one will come up in another sale 
Because, again, I did siblings, right? Because if you have one that looks like it, you need its brother or sister, right? This is my logic. <laughs> $15, you guys. And the straps are adjustable. No, they aren't. It's decoration. Sorry about that. This side you could adjust, but you can't on this side. Okay? So you probably wouldn't want to. There's a spot right there. All right. Awesome. You can go down here, apartment nine. Okay. Here we go. We have a Nicole Miller. Um, black and gray with this awesome blue pop of color. I'm in love. You have this chunky zipper on the front. Uh, oh, what did we find? I don't think dad saw this bag. It's not you, dad. It's okay. Look at it. It's a little mini. This is so cute. Disney Limited. Shoot, what is going on? Here, I'll show it out here. That's cute. All right, if you guys like it, I'm, I'll show it again on um, on Tuesday's jewelry sale. <laughs> That's cool. Anything else in there? Can we find something else? No, no diamonds. A little slip pocket there. Zip uh, magnet snap there. Interior here. Yeah, dad didn't see this bag. My apologies, you guys. <laughs> there was a little wrapper in there. <laughs> Um, oh, I have a little string hanging here. I'll cut that off for you. Other than that, this bag is in nice shape. Um, I believe it's full leather. Let's try to see a tag. Um, is there a tag? Do you have a tag in here? She does. Okay, Nicole, what are you? 100% PU, which is, um, like a polyurethane. Okay. All right, there we go. Oh, and the strap is awesome. It's blue. It's adjustable. It could definitely be a nice long crossbody for you. It's a curvy girl crossbody length. <laughs> All right, there we go. $15, you guys, on the Nicole Miller. All righty. Go over there. Okay, here we go. We have a gold metallic bag with little studs. Uh, it has a front pocket here. Uh, the corners are nice. We're not doing dad grades on these ones, guys, so we can move faster through a lot more bags today, but we will again, I promise. Um, we have this strap, and it has adjustment in it. The strap is a little stiff. Um, it is faux leather, but you could still rub some leather. It's not horrible, you guys. It's not awfully stiff, but it is a little bit, but you could rub, ugh, rub some leather conditioner on it. It would still help it. There you go. Not branded. Not branded still cute. She's a cutie. All right. She's going to be $15. All righty. Next. <laughs> All right. This is new without tags. It's from that same lot I bought. It is this awesome, like hot red color. Like it's brighter than like a red. It's very, it's awesome. It's the coolest color, honestly. It's almost like a neon red, but not, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's just awesome. You have these um, double pull tassel poles here. I would put them in the middle if it were me. Let's say, let's put them in the middle. Don't leave baby in the corner. <laughs> All right, movie quote, what's that from? Nobody puts baby in the corner. Okay, quilted chevron on the bottom. Uh, you have this nice strap, it is adjustable. And if you look at the back, it's great. It's in like new condition. And here is the interior. Um, you have no slips, but there is a zip. It is unbranded. I think it's pretty fantastical though. I contemplated keeping this one guys, but honestly, I just, guys, do not tell hubs, but I had to take my crossbodies out of the purse closet and put them in a different closet because I ran out of room. And if hubs finds out, he's probably going to skin me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, it's spread. It's spreading, spreading. No more crossbodies, Julie. If one comes in, one has to go. <laughs> All right, I'll show you my storage that I did for him. It's pretty cool. I'll, I'll put it in the community tab one of these days. All right, $15 on this one. 
it's really cool. It's like, um, you know, you can hang from a closet pole, like the fabric, like shelves almost. This one's like that, but it has like um, little trap doors on it. They're clear plastic to keep the dust out. It's really cool. Okay, this one's really nice, guys. It's in like new condition. I can't remember if it's branded. We'll look. Um, it's a like a faux suede, like almost like a, um, what's that stuff called, guys? every time like almost like a microfiber faux suede has this nice strap that's adjustable okay it can come off so you can carry it just by these wooden handles which are awesome okay here's the interior is it branded no not branded okay here you go you have a zipper pocket here you have um, a slip and you have a spot for credit cards or ID um, and this has a zipper closure You guys, it smells slightly like um, fried food. <laughs> it came from that same house. They must have had the purses in the kitchen. It's not a no, it's not a bad smell. It actually is making me hungry. <laughs> and it's very light. You just get a little whiff. I'm sure if it stayed in my house another couple of weeks, it would go away. Okay, fifteen dollars. I just want you to know. If you open your your box for me and this is inside, and you start craving French fries. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's a cute bag though, guys. It's very, very cute. Okay, we have this cutie patootie. Wait till you see this. It's a uh, Le Sport sack. Um, it's in great condition. It's brown with all these little hearts. Um, here's the strap. It is adjustable, okay. Um, it's pretty long. I think it would be a longer crossbody. You have a zipper pocket here. Perfect. And then you have this pocket here and a slip and this pocket here. It's just cute. A little um, magnet snap. There we go. So cute, isn't it? I think it is. I remember right when I where I got this. This is an awesome shop in Maine that I love to go junking at, but I think it shut down and I'm so sad. I think they had a fire, which is awful. It was this awesome antique mall um, that had everything in it. Uh, kind of like an indoor flea market. It was huge and it was fun and it was awesome. And I'm gonna miss it. <laughs> $15. All righty, what's next? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we have like six or eight bags left, seven or eight bags. Okay, we have this little wallet. It is a Jones, New York, faux leather, brown. We have a zip change spot there, a little pouch pocket there. It is a tri-fold ladies wallet. Okay, you have some room for bills, a zipper spot that's long too, your ID, some credit cards, lots of little hidey holes, no money, darn. <laughs> and there you go. Um, this one is going to be just $7. Okay, $7 on the Jones, New York. This is in great shape, you guys. If you need a wallet, that's, that's in great shape. Okay. All right, we have a Dooney. It's a Dooney that is not perfect. She is um, bent to heck. She came out of a thread up box also, I believe, or something like that. It might have been... Um, I don't know. It was something like a thread up box. Um, you have this, I believe this is a vintage Dooney. You have the, um, the nice, beautiful leather. Here's your Dooney ducky. Okay. Um, let's look at the front. It is a fabric and it has pulls. Okay. Can you see all the little pulls? That's why it's in the $15 sale. Are you guys seeing well? I'm going to go down a little. Oh, you can see them well there now. See them? Pull, pull. It's super cute, but it does have issues. That's why it's here. Um, it is also squashed. It needs some shaping. The corners are not great. Okay, here's the bottom. There's the back, same, some pulls. Okay, there's that. The corners, that corner is not great at all. Um, I just want you to know what you're getting with this bag. It is a rehab bag. Look at, oh, I love that Dooney interior. I don't think I've seen it in pink, only in red. Look at that. That is awesome. The inside's beautiful. It's a great little bag. Um, there's the zip pocket. 
certificate of authenticity. Okay, yeah, so this came actually from um, like a Goodwill lot. There you go. Looks like there's a pull down there. Do you see it? Uh, the key fobber, a little slip. That was probably for a tiny cell phone back in the day, you guys. All right, there you go. Here she is. She needs help. Can anybody give her a second life? I hope so. I think she's deserving. <laughs> there she is. All right. The Dooney Rehab, $15. $15. Oh, goodness. Sorry. I'm banging on stuff. Okay, here we go. We have a Vera. Cool print Vera. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I like that print. There's a pocket here with an awesome contrast print in there. Um, it is a shoulder bag. Here are the straps. The strap is straps are where the discoloration is, you guys. Okay, like always on Vera's, right? There's another pocket there. It's a zip top. The interior is beautiful. Gorgeous. Somebody took really good care of the interior because you can tell that it was used and loved because those straps. But look at that interior. They're a lot less messy than me. <laughs> All right. There she is. This pretty little Vera shoulder bag. And she is $15. Okay. Next. Oh, that was probably loud. Sorry, guys. Oh, you're kind of crooked. Julie. Eek. Sorry, my friends. All right, here we go. We have this baby. Look at this. It's Monarch Butterflies and a little backpack. This is so cute, you guys. Um, I don't know if this is branded or not, but looking at it here, it almost looks handmade, homemade. Handmade, not homemade. Um, there's this little, pull. Um, what are those called? Clipper things? <laughs> uh, there's a drawstring here on the top. Here's the interior. Oh yeah, this was definitely handmade. This is awesome. Um, so it looks like there's spots for pencils or pens. This was probably their kid's backpack or something. It's beautiful. And then here is a Velcro pocket. Oh, Laura, Lara Howe Designs. I don't know anything about that. So, so cute, isn't it? So cute. And then you have your water bottle spot on both sides. Adjustable straps, top hook. It's in great shape, you guys. Isn't it so cute with the monarchs? Aww. One time when I was teaching, we hatched um, monarch butterflies. Was it monarchs? Is it monarchs? I think it was. It was amazing. We had so much fun doing it. That year was so fun. We um, had tadpoles, big ones that changed into bullfrogs. We did monarch butterflies. We had um, uh, ducks that hatched. What else did we do? Uh, I don't know. It was fun. It was so fun. I loved it. <laughs> $15, you guys. So fun. Okay. Next. All right. This is another Vera, I believe. Is it? Yes. It's another Vera. This is in like new condition, you guys. Let me get rid of this tag. Hold on one second. Julie, Julie, Julie. All right. Sorry about that. All right. This is in like new condition. I think I showed you one in the same material, different style bag, uh, not too far long back there. Uh, 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 uh. Did you guys catch all that? <laughs> all right, so you have this little um, little strap. Uh, here it is. Uh, it is quilted like, um, like um, I want to say vinyl, and that's not it. Nylon, quilted nylon material. And then you have this um, faux patent leather on the edge. There is one mark right here. Okay. Bottom's nice. 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 It's very nice, except that one spot. Um, the strap can come off, so you can wear it as a clutch. Okay. And there's the interior. It's beautiful, like new. Does this undo? No. Okay. There's the interior. Isn't it cute? It's a cute little Vera. There you go. Is this the newer Vera Bradley logo? What is up with my focus? There you go. 
hope it hasn't been like that the whole time, you guys. Oy. All right, $15. Looks like we have one more Vera here, and then I have one other bag for you. Um, this Vera has a matching wallet. Okay, so let's look at it. Uh, here it is, Vera Bradley. Um, this print is really cool. Look at it, it almost looks like a butterfly right here. Do you see it? I love it. Oh, it is a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I snorted. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? Look at it, it's a butterfly. Julie, gosh, holy heck. <laughs> Uh, don't turn me off, please. Don't turn the channel. <laughs> okay, if you must, I understand. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, here's the interior. Zipper pocket. Um, super adjustable strap. Definitely um, nice and long for a curvy girl to have a crossbody. I am a curvy girl. I like a longer crossbody. <laughs> I understand how it works. Okay. $15. And if you would like the matching wallet, that kind of looks like it has butterflies on it too. No, I'm just kidding. It definitely has butterflies. Here she is. Zip up wallet in like new condition. I would, I, this is in beautiful condition. Okay. Super cute. Let's do this for $10. $10. Did I give you a number on the last bureau? I hope I did. I think I did. Okay, last bag, you guys. I have a Dana Buckman for you. Um, it is a floral satchel. Isn't it so cute? I love the flowers. It is faux leather. Okay. Um, so you have this cute little flower, um, faux leather like tag. Um, this does have some issues right there, okay? You see it? Um, you have these cute little shoulder straps. Are they adjustable or is it just for, just for looks? They don't adjust. Um, there's a mark here. Okay, you have these side pockets. Super cute. The reason this is in the $15 sale is this. Okay. Some of that um, print is coming off. Bottom's okay, got a couple marks, nothing crazy. Feet were doing their job, they are worn. So basically all around the bottom edge, um, the discoloration is happening. Some marks on that strap. Uh, what else do we need to know? Here we go, interior. So um, this strap is not horrible, but it's starting, starting a little bit to show wear. Okay, uh, here you go. Oh wow, this pocket definitely has some uh, Red's hanging in it. <laughs> there you go. Okay, slips, zip top. Um, you have some slips here, slip here, and then this back one's the one that has threads like crazy. <laughs> um, okay, let me put the strap back in here so I don't lose it. All right, Dana Buckman also came in a purse lot of some sort. $15. All right, you guys, we did it. We made it through the whole pile. Wow. I wasn't sure how that was gonna go, but it wasn't too bad. Hour, not bad at all. I have a bag that I can't open <laughs> that I had to set to the side. You guys, this opened when I first got it, but look at, look at this thing. Look at it. Oh gosh, you can't see it. Why is it doing this? There we go. Can you see it? It's like welded on there. I don't know what's up with that thing. I don't know. All right, we'll figure it out. All right, you guys, Um, the last thing I was gonna ask you is any of you out there really good with Vintage Coach, okay? I've been trying to figure out the name of this Vintage Coach bag. Um, Yeah, because I'm not sure. There he is, there she is. Long straps and a tote. It's a large size. I had thought it might be the, um, I had thought, okay, I had thought maybe it was the um, Duffel Soho XL, but it's a different, different on the inside, okay? And uh, unfortunately the Creed doesn't help 
if I'm understanding correctly, is from the 1980s. The first four digits and the last three digits are unique to this particular bag itself. Like each one had a particular serial number. So I can't use the serial number to help me. So anyway, if anybody knows, I would love to know. Okay, thanks. Thanks guys. All right, you guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate you so, so much. Um, and I will be back Tuesday with a jewelry sale from you for you. I will have all those pieces tested, um, that we looked at this past week and we'll have that Disney chain that I just found and I will be sure. Yeah, right. I will try really hard to remember to bring the diamond upstairs. <laughs> all right, you guys, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.